G'day guys, my name's Lindsay. I'm into sketchy race cars and janky motorbikes. You'll see some racing, some riding, and a heap of breakdowns. So tighten your helmet, and welcome to the channel. Back in the workshop again, I am making a camera stand. It probably doesn't look like much now, and it's kind of janky. I'm just gonna put a counterweight on it, but it basically, Looks like that. at the back so it'll really help me get those good um, like time-lapse shots and I'll be able to wheel the camera in and have it poke in over the top but yeah should be good the boys just bought a new truck for the racetrack it's got like a grater on the bottom it's like a seven ton Sisu Karu or Karu Sisu and uh, it's amazing so we were just mucking around with that I'll see if I can put it on this <laughs> The issue with this though is it's uh, not terribly stable. I didn't want to make the base too big because um, that kind of hurts its agility. I thought I'd just weigh it down because if it's all balanced, it, it shouldn't really tip over that easy. But I have some spare rotors from, from the Land Rover. So they should go quite well. Beautiful, one more I think. Hmm. It's not terribly good, I'm gonna have to make that more secure. Oh well, I wanna show you Wallace, cause he's finished. Hey, look at that, look at that. He even, I have a torch on here that I can, that I've given two degrees of freedom so that, uh, you know, someone can hold my torch because <laughs> I'm a solo operation. It is just me doing the filming, the cutting, the editing, all of that business. And that's kind of the reason why it's a, it's a little bit rough because I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. So this is gonna make, a lot of the shots a lot better I think because it's going to be able to go basically everywhere that I can um, and point in sort of every angle that I need it to rather than being confined to the suction cup and having to stick it like I was sticking it here to the light but as you probably noticed occasionally it, it falls off um, or like I was sticking it to the hoist but again like that's not it's not ideal whereas this I can wheel it around everywhere uh, it's got lockable casters on the bottom which is great so it doesn't So I can wheel it around and then I can lock it in place. Um, and the counterweight, it's adjustable, but it's actually the lower wishbone or the lower uh, control arm from the front of the Sierra, the one that was bent. So nice to reuse, keep it eco. Um, I think that's all. I'm gonna get stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> 